Hey, this is Ronald Carroll from Mad Skills University and Middle Class Dreamers. Well, I guess middle class is a thing of the past. American families, people struggling to pay their bills with inflation. Let's talk about seniors who worked all their lives and retired. And in retirement, they're realizing that they can't afford to retire. But maybe they can't physically work either. Families living in motels, paying 500 bucks a month, trying to save up for an apartment. It's seemingly out of reach because... That apartment price keeps going up every single year. People are being forced out of their apartments, out of their house. They're living in their cars. We're talking about hardworking Americans who want to work. When it comes to the homeless, there are homeless and there are chronic homeless. I can't help the chronic homeless, but we can help people who want to help themselves. We're going to have millions of people who are homeless in the next 20 to 30 years. We're going to have over a million people out there with mental illnesses that are homeless, most of whom will be off the grid, can't even count them anymore. The number of homeless people in America has risen substantially since 2017. Now we're taking notice. At the end of 2022, there were 582,462 homeless people in America. Of that number, 127,768 were deemed chronic. Chronic homelessness entails being on the street for a long period of time, being on the street for over a year. Most people who are chronic have a mental illness, physical disability, and a lot of them are addicted to drugs and or alcohol. The chronic homeless are also depicted and portrayed on YouTube videos where people show the state of America and its drug use in Seattle, California. Portland, almost everywhere. But you'll see these videos all over YouTube. But I just want you to keep in mind that that's a third of the homeless populations. Because remember, all the homeless families, most of them are in shelters. You have to be relatively clean to go into a shelter or they won't accept you. You can't go in there high or drunk. That's why 65% of the people who are chronic live on the streets. With that said, that leaves us 421,392 homeless people in 2022 who were not chronic. In that number, you will find 161,000 families, over 33,000 veterans, and over 30,000 unaccompanied. What causes homelessness? There's a lot of reasons. Domestic violence, a bad divorce, losing your job, your rent is too high all of a sudden. But 64% of the people who are homeless it's been reported that it had to do with some type of addiction. Other reasons include divorce, domestic violence, bad family situation, you had a medical problem, couldn't pay your rent, lost your job. There are a lot of reasons other than addiction, but that is the leading reason why people become homeless. And I know advocates don't want me to say that. Oh, it's 68%. And here it says 52%, but we know that basically more than half of them are homeless because of an addiction or something. In America, in 2022, we had 582,000 homeless people. And that's pretty much 18 out of every 10,000 people. If you look at the total numbers here, you can see how many of those people were families. You can see how many were chronically homeless versus veterans and unaccompanied youth. And I did link this page below if you guys want to check this out. This also shows you of that number, who is in shelters and who's not. So as you can see, a lot of the families are in shelters, but look at how many of the unaccompanied youth are not in shelters. How about the veterans? And that's in 2022. And here's male versus female. And this is important because this shows you homelessness by state. So as you can see, DC, California, on the right side, a lot of California. This is important. This shows you what states are hot. So California is number one, New York is number two, and Florida is number three. And the redder it is, the higher population of homelessness you have. So look at California right here, 171,000. And a lot of those people are off the grid. So they're chronic. So there's way more than that. And people show up there every single day. And there's videos out there on that if you want to see what it looks like. And this shows you bed availability. So there's, there really isn't any. 
Look over here, housing, permanent versus temporary. And these are the states that are at risk of homelessness. So Texas is coming up, Florida, Georgia. It's going to get worse. If you want to see what's going on in your state, I put this link below. Go down here. And they talked about the number one state being California. So the average is 18 homeless people per 10,000. They're at 43. New York, 37. You can see the ones that are getting darker. But now, HUD just released a report. You can see it went down, and then in 2017, it started to spike again. So we went from 582 in 2022. Now in 2023, we're at 653,100. That's a 12% increase. The chronic numbers went up 22%. And then if you go over here, we see an increase in 2023 from 127, 768 to 143.05. That's a 22% increase in the chronic homeless. And I link this article below as well if you want to check this out. But again, these are people who have mental illness, substance abuse disorders, things like that. And that's January 2023. So I can imagine where it's going to be next year by 2030. So I know my thumbnail was supposed to be funny. And if I actually took the 70,000 difference between 2022 and 2023 in homelessness, and that's 12%, but that's 70,000. So if I did that until 2030, that would put us at about a million homeless people. I've been working with the working poor and homeless for decades. And when it comes to working with the chronic homeless, I give them water and food, but never give them money ever. I also work with people who, who have skills, maybe. So I help them start a business or I'll give them gig work or site work. So people like that, like Bobby, for example, um, he was about to be evicted and we made sure that didn't happen. When it comes to people like Raymond and Katie, they have a three year old daughter. They live in their car. So I made sure I took care of them the best I could, make sure they had almost everything they need to not only get a job, which they did, but to also get back on their feet. And their story is really tragic, deaths in the family and things like that. But they don't do drugs at all and they don't drink at all. So check their story out. Then there's other people like Jerry who went through a bad divorce. And there are people who were hooked on drugs who got off of it, like Maria. So there's a lot of stories out there when you start talking to people and you talk to people who aren't chronic. Now maybe Maria, people like Maria were chronic at one point, but now she's not. Those are the homeless people that I like to help and people who are working homeless. So let me know what you think. What are your ideas and concepts about homeless people? People who work hard for a living or having a hard time? Leave your comments below and let me know what you think. If you haven't already subscribed and liked the video, please do so. Please share this video. Whatever you can do to help the working poor and the working homeless. And there are a lot of people out there who are homeless who are working. I'm wishing everyone a great 2024. I wish you nothing but peace, happiness, and prosperity.